Hi everyone, I'm Chitra Barifgul and today I'm going to give you an update on one of my projects that I'm developing for a client. It's a GSM modem based SMS sending software that will be used to send SMS messages to uh, students and staff of the school. So I, I have it in my machine right now here and let me just simply execute it and show it to you. Uh, we have this login screen to verify which user are logging in. So let me simply use my credential to log in. And once we are logged in, we are on this dashboard. As you can see, this is uh, completely customizable and uh, you can set it to any proportion as you want. So here we have a lot of options. As you can see on my left side, we have broadcast, contacts, classes. Uh, we also have we will also be developing this groups feature which is not ready right now and we also have this setting option here as well so first of all let's go to our broadcast here and as you can see we have new broadcast current broadcast and broadcast history so let's check a uh, new broadcast once i click this new broadcast as you can see uh, an error message appears this error message is about uh, the gsm modem is not correctly set up so actually we are using a gsm modem which we have to connect with our software so let me also show you a picture of the GSM modem that I am currently using uh, this is a USB based uh, GSM modem uh, it, it is made by Huawei company and I will also list down the actual model name in the description of this video so this is uh, I, uh, I have this connected with my PC right now so let me simply just close it okay so uh, we have to connect this with our software as well. So as you can see here we have modem not connected So right now the status uh, is not connected. We have to change it as you can see uh, it also uh, it detects which uh, port it is connected to and Then we simply connect it Connect with our software as you can see the status of the modem is changed modem connected so now we will be able to send messages to or broadcast to student, staff, class or groups ok so let's go to the student broadcast here as you can see on this window we have some other options we, we have a list of students that are present in our system and we have this search uh, option here we can use it to search uh, students you can see if I double click it it is, uh, it is shown in this uh, other uh, list and it also says one student selected and we can we can double click on any student to select it so right now I have two students in my selected student list and on the right side we have this recipient options uh, by default it is uh, checked on both and we also have uh, option for father and student because uh, when we are adding a contact uh, student contact we can uh, set a number to, to be of personal or father so whichever the option we select from uh, the student option here it will be sent to that uh, if, if we select father the message will be only sent to the father if we select student it will be only sent to the personal number of the student if we select both by default so it will be sending uh, a current message to both of the number of the student okay so uh, as you can also see we have some other tags here as well so uh, they are used um, to customize the message uh, to every student okay so if I have a message like something like uh, hi and I want the student's name to appear after this okay so hi student name so once this message is completed and once uh, it is going to be sent so it will be replaced this student dot name will be replaced with the name of the student okay so we don't have to actually set up every student's name uh, on this window so I am simply going to add some message here this is a test message from Nantias so Nantias is the name of the software and you can also see once uh, whenever we uh, add some more characters to it it is also saying how many characters are left uh, in this current message okay so we are going to click on start broadcast and it shows a confirmation message we are going to click ok and now as you can see it is it has started the broadcast to uh, students 
as you might have heard i have already received two messages here so both of these are my own numbers so i have received this message uh, hi naeem this is a test message from nantius and i have also received another message hi osa this is a test message from nantius okay so as you can see we uh, previously we set it to hi student name so this uh, student name is replaced with the uh, name of the student okay so you, we can also do another thing here uh, we can if there, if there are many other students in this broadcast and uh, we can actually cancel the broadcast if we want uh, when the broadcast is ongoing and there is another option inside <coughs> this software that uh, we have in the settings so as you can see here we have this waiting time and message count okay so actually uh, Pakistan Telecommunication Authority uh, has some regulation regarding message sendings and the time in which those messages can be sent. <coughs> Sorry. So by default I have set it, set it to uh, one minute and message count. So it will be waiting for one minute after sending two messages. Okay. So whenever it uh, sends two messages it will wait for one minute after which it will continue uh, the session okay so you can also uh, send uh, check it change it to like something like uh, wait for 10 minutes after every uh, after sending every 50 messages okay so and you can also change these options here uh, so these are for the school name and school logo related okay so let me simply just save it settings are updated so now when, whenever we start a new broadcast, it will actually uh, wait for around 10 minutes after sending 50, 50 continuous messages. Once it completed 10 minutes, it will continue the uh, current broadcast again. So and whenever there is a current broadcast in our uh, ongoing, uh, if you click on this button here, so it will uh, it will actually show uh, the active broadcast because right now we have we don't have any active broadcast it is simply saying there is no active broadcast and we also have this broadcast history where all of the broadcast that I have sent will be listed down. Let's go to contacts here and inside these contacts we have all students, many student, add new student and we also have option for all staff, many staff, add new staff and we also have two other options for export uh, contacts and import contacts. So as you can also read by uh, understand by their names, uh, these are used to list down the student details and other details, etc. Uh, let's also add some other students here as well. You can also see um, from on this window we can add students to our system. If you want to update any student, we can update their details from here. We can change their contact number. We can change their classes and we can also change their uh, name related or roll number related uh, details okay so i'm just simply updating student details you can also delete the student from the record uh, using this delete button here as well uh, similarly we have all staff many staff and uh, add new staff uh, all of these are same options uh, let me also show you the staff broadcast and the class broadcast uh, the staff broadcast is almost similar to our student broadcast. Uh, right now, we don't have any staff in our system, so it is not showing any staff here. Uh, but if we go to the class broadcast here, as you can see, we have two classes here. Okay, so if I select any of the class, it is it is also telling me that how many students are in this class. Okay, so if I write any message and start this broadcast, it will send uh, this message to this whole class. Um, uh, so right now we can see uh, it has only four students so it will send the message to four students uh, if I also select another class so right now uh, there are also four more students inside this class so it is saying eight students selected so most of other options are same let's go to classes here and we can also have some we can also add new classes and we can also uh, check out the details of these classes and we can manage them or delete uh, and update their uh, details from this option as well 
um, we we were also planning to add another feature uh, for these groups but it is uh, right now it is not completely developed uh, you might have used uh, the whatsapp group feature okay so inside those group you can add any uh, any peoples and when you send a message uh, it will be sent to all uh, all of the uh, members of the group so we were thinking about adding a group feature where we can add uh, staff and students alike to a same group or even we can also create uh, a group of classes as well so but but this feature is currently under development and we'll look look at it later so there is uh, there is uh, there is another option for setting as i have already told you you can change these details from here as well so i can simply select some other picture from here and it will update that detail uh, Pakistan High School 2 and once I update it will be updated as well so all of this is completely responsive if I simply change the dimension of my software as well you can see it has changed uh, the location of this button as well okay so it's completely customizable Mm, we can also we also have this option for uh, test message once you connect uh, you can write down any number here and it will send that message uh, send a test message to uh, this number okay so if I have write down my number and I'm going to check test message okay so your your message is sent successfully and I have received it in my uh, cell phone Hi, this is a test message from Nantias. Nantias is a message broadcaster. So, uh, I think we have completed the review of its frontend feature. Let's go to some of its code. So, as you can see, it is uh, it is developed using Windows Phone application, and no third-party libraries are used for its um, frontend, as you can say. So let me just simply show you the module we have here. We have this Nantias. Uh, this Nantias application is um, the front end application. Uh, it is using Windows Phone application as well. Uh, we have this Nantias dot data that is, that we are using inside which we are using Entity Framework uh, Code First uh, to communicate with our database. And we have this entities related module uh, which contains all the code for entities we have some global related uh, settings inside this global module um, and we have this dentius dot messenger module so uh, actually we are using gsm com libraries as you can see here and they are also referenced inside this module so this this uh, nantius dot messenger module is actually sending our uh, messages to um, whatever the numbers we are passing uh, we have some other testing related uh, details uh, testing related work inside this nantias.rob and we have the services module as well um, so the nantias application is talking to the service classes and service classes are in return talking to data so there is a complete separation of logic between all these um, modules and um, so i think that's all for this uh, current update if you have any question, you can ask them in our c sharpens group or you can also ask them in my inbox directly. You can also uh, send an email to me on sajadarifbull at gmail.com. So I hope you like this software. Thank you.